Hey guys, Dan with Great Overland. We wanted to give you a quick video. We're out in front of our shop. Uh, we're in a Link 148 all-wheel drive on the Ford Transit platform. And we wanted to talk about AC versus DC energy. DC direct current from batteries, AC through an inverter 110 or like in your house in those standard outlets. Let's show you what I'm talking about. We have a 110 outlet on the outside of our van. Shop vac hooked up to it. Sorry, the audio is gonna suffer a little bit, but a video is worth a million words if a picture's worth a thousand. We're gonna close this door to kind of block out some of that shop vac noise. If you look here, AC loads is loads on that 110 or 120 volts, 983 watts. We're seeing 112 from our solar panels right now. I really like this screen, it gives you a better picture. I'm gonna turn on this heat gun. You'll see your energy usage jump up, running about 1500 watts. I know it's loud, I'm sorry, thank you guys. Also, at the same time, we're running our DC air conditioner. This is a Dometic DC 12 volt air conditioner. The beauty of this is we're running two items that suck a ton of energy also while still running our air conditioner. We don't run our air conditioner off of our inverter because it takes too much bandwidth. You're already thinking, man, I want to cook dinner or breakfast. Turn that off for a second so you can hear me a little better. I've got everything full blast. By the way, the air conditioner is on full blast fan and boost mode. So everything is as loud as we can possibly make it. But if I want to cook dinner or want to cook breakfast and I'm running my air conditioner, I also want to use my coffee maker or my induction cooktop. In this scenario, it allows you a lot more freedom to be able to do both at the same time. So that's why we don't run our air conditioner off of the AC, even though you can get a bigger um, BTU out of that. We put a ton more insulation in this van and make it fully four season. You guys hope this helps. Um, you will always in a van have to be a little thoughtful about when you're running appliances and which appliances you're running at the same time. But this gives you a lot more freedom with a 12 volt air conditioner instead. Hope this helps you guys. Throw a comment in the comment section if you wanna know more, if you want us to deep dive into another subject.